What do we got? So, if you'll take a look at the first page of your agenda. You're the one who stopped the hack. You know, uh, the gals in analysis said this was a tough one, all things being equal. Should have shut us down for days, so. You did good. Okay. We should start with our account executive, Angela. Okay, we first noticed the breach at 2.07 a.m. Eastern Standard on Friday night. You mean Saturday? Sorry, yes. Technically, Saturday morning. Yeah, okay, Angela, that's what we're here for, the technicals. Right. Yes. Anyway, he arrived at the office at 2.35 and I instructed... Okay, wait, wait, wait. So that's uh, almost a half hour after the initial breach. Why didn't anyone pipe in from their laptops? It's not. It hard. wouldn't have been secure if someone terminaled in on this. It was a smarter move to have someone come in so they can log in on a secure line. Exactly. Then Lloyd was just, able to info just Lloyd. Actually, uh, just one second. You know, I, uh, I always love this view. Now that that's taken care of, let's pick it up where we left off. What happened to Angela? She knows more about what happened. She's not going to work out for us. Not on this level. We need to stick to the more tech savvy here. Now, let's get to the heart of this thing, because I can't sit here and look through a packet for the next 20 minutes. All right? Just who did this? Is it that hard? Who did this? I found the configuration file of the rootkit with a pattern of IP addresses. Once you decrypt it, you'll know where the hack came from. 